This normal looking ruler measures time as well as distance. So where you see your normal centimeters and inches, you also get seconds. So let's go outside and put a sir test. So to measure time with this, all I need to do is define the amount of time I want to measure on here, and I'm going to set it to two seconds. Find a ledge where I can swing it, raise it up to 60 degrees, anything below will work as well. And then the time it takes for it to swing there and back should be equal to exactly two seconds. So one, two, three. Every time the first time just doesn't work. Let's try again. That was pretty good. Look at that. 1.97 seconds. I did not expect both this combined with my timing skills to be this good. Or maybe the errors just cancelled each other out. So it says here that it's up to 3.5 seconds or 5 meters. And that's because apparently above that it's just impractically long. And I've had a look and to measure 3.5 seconds, you'd need to go to 3.7 meters. And I would argue that even at this point, it's already impractically long to measure time. So that's about here. Uh, maybe if someone was upstairs and just hanging out of the window and then I'd raise it and swing it here, maybe. But I think even two seconds uh, is kind of really shows the point. And I get the benefit of whenever someone asks me for a tape measure, ask them if they want to measure time or distance and just see the confusion on their faces. So that's always a plus. I got this and a bunch of other cool stuff in the latest edition of Curiosity Box. And if you'd like one for yourself, you can use my code MAKES25 for a 25% discount on the first box.